Hello everyone, my name is Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. And today, um, this isn't really a normal upload. I will be uploading uh, another video soon. I have found like a kind of like an uploading schedule where I'm uploading every five days and uh, at random times. So don't <laughs> ask me about what time because yeah, I edit things really slowly and I, the uploading takes a while for me. But today I'm gonna t go well in depth with the Black Lives Matter movement and the effects and causes of that. But before we get into it, I just want to say if I say anything wrong in this video, please educate me in the comments below. I will be linking a lot of resources in the description box. And I have talked about in my two previous videos, whether it's in the description box or just in like actually in the video where I talked about the Black Lives Matter movement in like little detail, but not as in depth as I will go into today. So if you want to check out my other thoughts, but I will be summarizing those thoughts in this one as well. But you can go over there and I'll be linking that somewhere. Probably in the, uh, in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. The Black Lives Matter movement started recently. But let's go back into history and talk about when slavery first ended. Because during slavery is when the issue first really begun. That's when the seed was planted and where it's blossoming today. So slavery, as we all know and learned in <laughs> school, that it's uh, people taking in slaves and having them work for them. Mainly African Americans, they brought them from Africa into the States to put them to work. When that ended in 1863, segregation began began shortly after that in, in somewhere, but it ended in 1954. Segregation is where they had, they separated the colored people from, people of color from white people. Now that was where I think that the Black Lives Matter movement really started. Because when Rosa Parks uh, decided not to give up her seat and Martin Luther King and all those people who, who are speaking out about this, it might not be as like, segregated as it is now, but the meaning behind it still holds true. Where it, the same logic goes into it where the black people are somewhat less than the white people which it shouldn't be now fast forward a few more years where the first black lives matter movement started in february 13 2013 and that was started because george zimmerman a police officer was acquitted after the shooting of trayvon martin and that brought a lot of riots not riots, but like protests. And that sh the news of it shortly blew off after a few weeks because that's just how the news works. The news moves on and we don't hear about it until something else happens. It's like a roller coaster where something happens and then it stops and then something happens and it stops. I feel like this movement, the Black Lives Matter movement will go on like that for a while after this. Okay. Before we get any further, I just want to say that this will probably be a long video, so if you don't want to hear me talk about this, the resources down below will still educate you if you want to, and there, I'll be also talking about those resources in this video, so yeah. Okay, so then after that, uh, we didn't hear any, really anything, but that's like the event that the murder that happened with Trayvon Martin and the Black Lives Matter movement was stuck in our minds from 2013 to now with the second Black Lives Matter movement with as we all know by now and if you don't educate yourself because you should and 
I have always been a type of person to not be on the internet. I have always just stuck to watching TV shows and YouTube and just being stuck in my little bubble. I thought that if I wasn't racist, then it's okay. Because I grew up uh, in a communist country, being China, and I moved here in second grade. So there were there wasn't a there pretty much aren't any black people or anybody else with a different skin color than what we are, which is yellow. So you know, moving here was a big transition and seeing all the people of color, and I didn't understand it because I was a child. I was very ignorant to the topic because I was very much inside the little world I lived in in China where I I was just with the people that looked like me. Now when I was brought here, this the United States is very well known for being having a lot of races, not racist, races, <laughs> races and being very diverse. And I wasn't really equipped to handle that when I came here but I didn't say or do anything wrong say at least I didn't hope so I didn't say anything to offend anyone because I was also brought up to keep the mean comments inside your head and not say anything but hmm, there are always racism around us that we don't see because it's not highlighted in the news. Like with police brutality when in 2013 when the first Black Lives Matter movement happened, when it died off, I just assumed that it it was okay and everyone has changed and, and I realized that was an ignorant thought and it wasn't true. We When we don't hear about something, we think that it's all good now and it's okay and that shouldn't be the fact the fact of the matter because just because it's not shown in the news and the front page doesn't mean that's not happening behind doors and we really need to ingrain that into our thoughts and when this black lives matter movement dies off because it will because that's just the news works when that when this dies off we shouldn't stop talking about it Black people still need our help even after this whole thing is over. Because when they're not equal with everyone else, we are we can't say all lives matter because they're part of that. And if their life doesn't matter, all lives shouldn't matter until it does. Okay, let's move let's talk about the black this current Black Lives Matter movement. This was started because Derek Chauvin I think that's how you say it, killed George Floyd by having his knee on his neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. There was also three other officers involved, Lane, Khan, and Bao. Lane and Khan helped restrain Floyd on the ground where he was already handcuffed and not had no harm to the officers or anyone around him. And Bao just stood by looking and not even bothering to say something to the other officers to actually do the right thing okay now with all that information being said let's move on to what's happening right now all the movements and everything that's and all the talk that's going on right now first is the pull up or shut up movement that's been created by the ceo of you um Uma Beauty and this challenge the brands to share the number of black employees or just the percentages that they have working in their management or overall in their companies. Now they're black people are known to have l less opportunities in management or higher up positions than white people do and with this movement it shows us what how diverse that the environment that they're working in is. Now there is like one issue that I have with this is that people lie. You know, there's a recent thing with Elf how they said, and oh, we're this diverse, this person is diverse, but in reality, they're 
only a small percent of that was black people. And there was also a thing where, um, let's say there are four people working, but they don't say working in the establishment, but they don't say they only have four workers. They just give out percentages. Say they have 50% white people, 25% uh, black, and the other 25% is Asian. That only means that there are, two, there are two white people, one black and one Asian. That doesn't help anything. I feel like if brands are gonna do the pull up or shut up thing, they should include how many employees they have. And also small owned businesses could be family owned businesses and that will have a lot less of a diversity than say um, a big brand like L'Oreal or Fenty, you know? So I feel like all those matters should be taken in consideration when processing what the companies are saying with the pull up or shut up movement. And we shouldn't just jump the gun and say, oh, this brand's canceled because they didn't meet the mark, which is 10%, 10% mark of black people. And so they should be canceled. We're not going to follow them anymore. I feel like it, we should just, as with anything, wait for the brand to speak up about it. And then we can judge where we spend our money. Okay. Then there's the there was the Blackout Tuesday movement where it was meant to just silence everyone basically and just let all the black uh, influencers, the companies and just news bring up and talk. So we the news and the internet is now overwhelmed by everyone posting so we can see what's new information is coming out with the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that was going on from the black creators. But it wasn't the black square that everyone was posting, that wasn't helping that whatsoever. Everyone was posting that black square saying, hashtag a black, blackout Tuesday. Like, no, that's not helping. It was just overwhelming the internet even more. Because this is a big movement right now, so everyone's gonna jump on this movement and try the best, that, do the best that they can to just, uh, participate in this movement and with the overwhelming amount of black squares that there are out there it's gonna push all the news and all the talk from the black creators and all the news for the black lives matter movement to the back and that's not helping it, when this happens again i like people were even educating the influencers saying that this is not helping to take it down but no one will it's just when this happens again i hope that creators understand what the movement was and what it was meant to do and not just jump the gun and say black square just to fit in okay now let's talk about blue lives matter which if anyone doesn't know is where it's like the same thing as black lives matter just contradicting it where it was for the police and okay so this is like a funny thing that i found when i searched up blue lives matter it's from urban dictionary it says grassroots social movement that aims to empower smurfs and to eliminate all discri discriminatory practice against smurfs <laughs> i just thought that was funny so i thought i should share just to like line up the mood a little bit because we are talking about like a pretty heavy subject at the moment so okay let's move on now the whole thing with the Blue Lives Matter movement, okay, we get it. You guys are being like vic like targeted right now as they should be. They're being targeted right now and they feel like they're being pushed into a corner where they can't escape. But they can escape. That's the whole thing. That police can take off their uniforms, but you can't but black people can't just rip their skin off, you know? It's not that we don't need police officers, because we do. We still need them in the society. We just need them to do their job the right way where they're not targeting like minorities and where they're not hurting others, where, they're, where hurting them is not the right place to do. And Blue Lives Matter, I've, it's just that the 
ma the main focus right now should be on the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that's going, all the movements that are following that, like All Lives Matter movement, which I will be talking about in a short bit. It's just counteracting what the Black Lives Matter movement is really about, and that's not okay. Okay, as I said, let's talk about the All Lives Matter movement. All Lives Matter movement is All Lives Matter, like I said. When I was, when the first, like, uh, Black Lives Matter movement happened 2013, I thought, all, oh, if someone's, it was all over the news that All Lives Matter, all this, All Lives Matter, that, and stuff like that. And I saw that, I was like, yeah, yeah, All Lives Matter, yeah, well, why shouldn't All Lives Matter? So I agreed with it, without really educating myself of what it actually meant. Because when looking back on that, yes, all lives matter, but black people are part of that. So if you're saying all lives matter, that means you're also for black lives matter. So why aren't you rooting for black lives matter also? It's not like anyone said that all lives didn't matter. Of course, all lives matter. You're not going to go around targeting everyone You're saying like, all lives matter, you should do this. But okay, let me put this in childish terms for everyone that agrees with all lives matter we love our pets right we love our pets and if you go to the vet saying that oh my pet is hold on i think something happened no it's okay if you go to the vet and say that some something happened to your dog or fish or pet something happened to your pet and all the attention is on your pet right because that's there's something wrong with it and say that your pet needs to be put down is the vet going to say all pets matter so she, they're going to go around town to just put down every pet that everyone owns no because that pet is what is in trouble so we need to help so they need to help that pet and not just every pet out there yes every pet matters but that pet is in trouble and your pet isn't. Black people have been fighting this war since the segregation period. If people are getting hurt out there. That's someone's mom, that's someone's daughter, someone's son, someone's father, someone's brother, someone's sister. What if that was your family? That's how it should be put. This is happening all around the world right now. People all around the world are speaking on this Black Lives Matter movement. Hey, this even reached Korea. If, if... <sighs> yes, all lives matter, but black people need to be put first at the moment. And when their justice is being brought, then we can talk about all lives matter. But we're not there yet. So we need to, right now, focus on the black people and helping them and lifting them up to be equal with everyone. Because right now they're not equal with everyone and that sucks. Because they're tr being treated differently than how everyone else is being treated. And that's not okay. Now let's talk about all the looters out there. Talking to you, Jake Paul. All the looters out there and people who are, were setting houses and setting cars on fire. Like, what is that accomplishing? What are you... Is that helping? Is setting that house on fire helping whatsoever? Like, majority of the protesters are peaceful. But those few are getting the, like, the highlight of the news. And people think that all protesters are like that because they're getting the top news right now. And this is what's going on at the White House, too. The president is threatening to use force, military force, to bring out, to be put on these protesters. All because he thinks that everyone is looters. And we just need to separate the thought of looters and protesters because they're not the same thing. Not every looter is doing that for the right cause. They're just spreading chaos saying, oh, Black Lives Matter, but they're not doing anything to help whatsoever. They're painting that image that the protesters are violent and aggressive and 
have no care about hope uh, uh, property whatsoever. And that's not painting a good image for the black community. Be I don't even to say why it's not painting good image because it shouldn't be said, it should just be known to not do that. Now, if I said, if I missed something that I, that I wish I would have said, I will put it in the, uh, uh, sorry, in the description box and in the comments if I have anything. So, yeah. Okay, now let's talk about some good things that are happening right now. Okay, there are a lot of brands and famous people that are helping and supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. These are not all of them, these are just a few. And I'm only gonna be talking about those who have made donations and the money is in the how much they donated so I can talk about it briefly. Okay, now let's talk about brands first. There's Etsy who donated $1 million, Nike $40 million to two organizations, Glossier 500000 across six organizations and another 5000 to black owned businesses. Fabletics with $50,000, School Recipe with $10,000, Biosance with $100,000 across four organizations. Now, famous people who are supporting Black Lives Matter in the moon moment, as I said before, this news have spread all the way to Korea, and the very also famous Korean K-pop band, BTS, has donated $1 million, Michael B. Jordan $100 million, mainly with the help of Nike and his line that's going on with them, Kanye with $2 million, Chrissy Teigen with $200,000, Halsey with $100,000, Megan Thee Stallion $10,225.26. Insanity. Let's just do this for a split second. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. This can be very much applied to this because we are doing, we're spreading the Black Lives Matter again and again. And as, since this has been hap this has happened before, and nothing has changed as we have seen right now. People are not getting justice and people are getting hurt, and the fear is overwhelming us right at this moment. People are mad at the police for not doing their job, right? People are sad about their loved ones being killed over innocent things. People are confused about how to approach everything and not wanting to say the wrong thing. People are People are um, just overall, every emotion out there you can think of, people are somewhat feeling right now. People are fearing about going outside and people are just in fear every single day in this country and we don't see it and we can't talk about it because it's not being, it's not that we can't talk about it. We can talk about it, that's what we should do. People, and we can't do anything ab about it, or so we thought, because we're known to see it, so how can we help? There are two ways to persuade a person, and that's with logic and emotion. If people, like, people let take in information with different things, some people, you can appeal to people with emotion on their emotional side, or you can appeal to people with their logical side. If you're an emotional person, and emotion is what convinces you, Jordan Edwards, 15, cause of death, he was shot. The cause of his death was Roy Oliver, who has who got 15 years in prison sandra bland 28 cause of death he she was hanged in her cell brian eusenia 
was indicted on perjury but then was dropped. Betty Jones, 55, she was shot and she was shot by Robert Ramo. He, they got a $16 million settlement. Does that sound like justice to being? There are, these are just three of the many, many victims of police brutality out there. And those victims need your help to speak up for them because they're all dead and that's not okay. They were murdered by the police or some what trace back to the police. And if that doesn't say anything about what's going on right now in the state that we're in, I don't know what does. Now, if you're a logical person, let's talk about statistics. From 2013 to 2019, police has killed 7,666 people. If you're a racist, these are not just black people, they're white people too. So if you want to think about it that way, there you go. These are not just African Americans, these are friends and family of people who love them and care deeply about them. <clears throat> and black Americans are two and a half more likely to be killed than white people. There are more African Americans in our prison system than white people. Sure has decreased, but it's still higher than it should be. There are, are I'm talking about just the United States. United States is made up of more white people than black. And if black people are being put in prison at a higher rate than white people, that says something. Now let's talk about the peaceful protesters out, that are out there and the stats on that. There, are, there have been 10,000 protesters arrested. These were mainly peaceful protesters, I might add. P the police are tear gassing these protesters who are just speaking up about something they, they, they wow, that they truly believe in. And then, as I said before, Trump has threatened to use military force on these protesters, and all that is legal. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. It was legal at one point to have slavery. It was legal at one point to... There are a ton of laws that were legal that when we look back on it now is 100% not right. It's not humane to do what we did in the past. And the whole point of abolishing slavery is for the black people to be citizens and to be treated like humans should be alongside white people and that's not what we got even hundreds of years down the line it's a hundred yeah like years down the line they're still not treated equal and there's something wrong with that this kind of thing doesn't it's not going to be fast it will take time and we need everyone needs to put in their in the effort to be anti-racist, not just to think of themselves as not racist and to let other people do the job. That's also not okay. You're not helping that either. There are multiple ways of helping. You just need to find the right one where your capability, within your capabilities. There are ways to help even without donating. And there are ways to help if you want to donate also. Okay, there is a hindrance right now with the protesting and people are not allowed to be in big amount, a large amount of groups, a large groups right now because of COVID and what's going on with that. Currently, COVID, the global death toll is at 4,000. 
112,000 deaths. And that's not even counting the people that are being in the hospital and still alive, or the people that are in, that could be immune, not immune, but like, that's not even talking about who those who have it, but they don't know it because it hasn't reached that level yet, and they're passing it around to other people. COVID is still a relevant thing right now, and it's not gonna go away soon either, like what Trump said. It's sad that we can't trust our president to tell us the truth and tell us the right thing, especially with what's going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and him threatening to use military force on protesters to where he's talking, spreading all these lies that we're doing okay and the deaths with the COVID is leveling out, which it's still not at the place where it should be. School is a, school is gonna start up soon and events are gonna start opening up within like the next few months. I have, I'm supposed to have marching band next month uh, in July and we're still gonna have to wait for that detail to be released on whether we have it or not. That's a whole season of marching band gone. I'm gonna be a senior next year. People are out here talking about how sad it is that the current seniors can't, can't have a graduation or prom. Well, the next year's seniors are not going to have graduation and prom if this goes on any longer. Do you want two years of graduates and prom not happening because people can't just stay indoors? Right now, you should be able to stay indoors. It's, yes, you're bored. You want to go outside. We all do. You're more privileged than what... Imagine this happened hundreds of years ago. They don't have phones. They didn't have technology to help them through it. We need to stick together. That's how we're gonna combat COVID. And if, I, yesterday I was, was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago I was at Chipotle getting food for my parents are ha were having their anniversary, 18 year anniversary. And we were getting Chipotle to celebrate. There was a guy behind us, we had ma face masks on. There was a guy behind us who was talking on the phone and he said, I can't believe people are still believing this hoax. I'm pretty sure he was talking about COVID. I don't know, I don't wanna be putting words in his mouth, but then what happened afterwards was that he showed us a picture of a bunch of sheep wearing face masks, face masks and showed it, uh, showed it to us and said, it's not, look at all these sheep wearing face masks. It's not gonna help in talking to us. People need to take COVID more seriously than they have all, they have been. And it's disappointing to see that adults aren't following the right instructions. Okay, back to Black Lives Matter. Even with the COVID happening right now, there are still multiple ways to help within your house. So there are, it could be donations, looking up Black Lives Matter and just educating yourself, play, and uh, supporting black owned brands if you want to do some shopping and petitions that you can sign. Donations, I will be linking a website where there are a lot of donate, I mean, places that you can donate to. You can look at some of them and donate it, donate to them if you have, if that's within your means to do so. I will also be linking a website that talks about Black Lives Matter and what it is. There is a playlist that I have like saved and I'll be linking, also linking that below. All of these I'll be linking below. I'll be linking that below to, it's basically a playlist where just influencers and YouTubers have talked about Black Lives Matter or just that whole video is monetized and has ads in it. And if you watch the ads all the way through, the AdSense from that video will go into 
through like a good cause like to, it will, will be donated to black lives matter and all those organizations i have that playlist saved on my phone and when i'm going to bed i don't like to go to bed just dead silent because that's kind of scares me so i have a background noise going on and i play that playlist to help me go to sleep basically and then when you can so i will have a bunch of black owned businesses in the description box and if there are makeup hair shaving i don't have clothing brands yet maybe i should put some clothing brands down there too all you can support those black owned businesses if you feel like that's within your means to do so whatever you feel comfortable with there's always one way to help that you, there are always ways to help that you don't know so yeah and then you can also support those black creators on youtube or instagram follow them just keep up with what they're doing there are multiple ways to help and there are i will have also a website there's a website that has a bunch of petitions that you can sign to help also okay yeah, and that's all I will try to I don't think I will edit this video whatsoever I just want to go have this go out raw and to basically if I said something wrong in this video that it's not I'm not gonna edit it out to just seem like I'm like uh, was it woke on anything so if you feel like I said something wrong or you disagree I want you to comment and educate me because I still don't know everything uh, not a single human on earth knows and everything in the planet there's always something that you can learn there's always new studies and new information that are coming out with the Black Lives Matter movement that we can all learn of course there are we uh, still need to talk about this even after this. I'm very interested to see who, what influencer and what celebrity or whoever is still going to be talking about this even after Black Lives Matter movement have died down a little. Because this issue is not going away anytime soon and we still need to fight for those who don't have a voice to do so. So I feel like what I'm going to start doing in my channel is that with every upload I will I will talk or just link a black owned business in the description box or just a black owned a black creator that I really like at the moment I will also be linking that in the box just one every single upload and hopefully that is enough on my part to do the right thing the current currently our world is in shambles and we need to stick together or to group, go through the pandemic and i hope that everyone is taking the safety precautions when they're going outside and sorry my screen keeps going dark so i don't know if i'm like <laughs> cutting out or not but yeah this is what's going on right now there are multiple activities that you can do in quarantine you know read a book you know this generation's not reading enough read a book <laughs> i'm saying that mainly for me because i haven't read a, picked up a single book in a while so i should do that but yeah if you want something to watch i my last post was about all the tv shows and movies that i like so I will link that, link that somewhere, you know? Okay, I think that is it. If I think of something that I didn't say, I'll put in the description box or just in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you very soon with my next upload. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. I will be here every five days. And I hope you liked the video. Okay, bye.